The human body evolved to function on Earth and deal with Earth's gravity. So when humans venture into the weightlessness of space, they start losing muscle mass and bone density and undergo other changes. Here are five of the weirdest ones. I'm Sophie, and welcome to The Countdown. In 1994, astronaut Richard Hebe became too tall to fly in space while he was flying in space. When he boarded the space shuttle Columbia on Earth, he was an inch shorter than NASA's maximum height limit of six foot four inches. But once the shuttle went into orbit, he started growing. On Earth, gravity presses down on the body. In microgravity, that pressure is removed, and spines stretch out, increasing an astronaut's height by as much as two inches. This height boost can be a problem. It not only made Hebe break NASA's height limit, but also causes back pain. Earth's gravity also keeps the fluids in our body where they belong. Without it, liquid pushes its way into the head and chest, making legs shrink, faces swell, and heads ache. The fluid also causes nasal congestion, which may be why astronauts report a weaker sense of taste in space. Stuffy noses impair our sense of smell, which has a huge influence on the ability to detect flavors. Or the loss of taste might be due to limited food choices, the unappetizing pouches in which food is served, or the sterile odor of the spacecraft distracting the nose. To make up for the blandness, astronauts spike their food with hot sauce, horseradish, and other spices. In microgravity, the heart doesn't have to work as hard as on Earth, which produces a strange effect. The heart actually gets rounder. In a recent study, 12 astronauts used an ultrasound to measure their hearts before, during, and after a mission on the International Space Station. In space, their hearts became more spherical, and back on Earth, they returned to normal. But on a long voyage, like a trip to Mars, this change could make the heart function less efficiently. Although the rounder hearts are only temporary, some astronauts undergo permanent eye damage during their time in microgravity. In a survey of 300 astronauts, 60% reported weaker eyesight after traveling on long space missions. The damage could last for years. The upward flow of fluids, the same issue that gives astronauts puffy faces, also increases the pressure in the head, damaging eyeballs. In some people, the backs of the eyeballs flatten out, which makes it harder to focus. Vision problems can also stem from swollen optic nerves and damage to the retina. The inner ear, which helps you keep your balance, relies on gravity to function properly. When astronauts first leave gravity behind, they feel disoriented and can experience motion sickness. Until they learn to orient themselves with visual cues alone, astronauts can lose track of where their arms and legs are located in space, which makes them a lot clumsier. Once they've finally adjusted, they still have to go back to Earth, where they must readapt to life with gravity again, which means relearning how to stand up, balance, and walk in the proper direction. I'm Sophie Bushwick, and that's your countdown. For more spacey stuff, visit the Space Lab channel on YouTube or follow us on Twitter at SA underscore Space Lab. And if you've got any topics you'd like to see in the future, let us know in the comments.